Welcome to Loguido's Chop Shop, second best gel blaster channel on the internet, where tonight we're going to do something a little bit silly. Here I have a Gen 8 gearbox I'm about to put together where almost 100% of this gearbox is metal. Uh, now I've never used one of these metal gearboxes before and if you believe everything you read on the internet, um, they're not as good as the nylon ones. But, either way, what we're going to do tonight is see what it takes to break, I guess. So what I'm going to be putting into this, we've got a stainless cylinder with a double o-ring brass uh, cylinder head, an o-ringed nozzle, uh, I've got a double o-ringed brass piston head with a metal ladder plunger, in fact the plunger itself is the only component which isn't metal. Um, I'm going to be using the uh, uh, six millimeter SKF bearings and a Chihai red motor. We've got the metal tappet plate and um, I've got a set of uh, SHS helical gears here. Uh, let's, let's put it all together, shall we? Just loading it up with schmoo, like all gearboxes should be. Now, I have already shimmed all these gears, so there's nothing to worry about there. that this box is all metal uh, I'm going to the trouble of heat shrinking all the wiring because uh, they probably will touch the outer casing so we don't want them shorting out uh, so I'll do that a crazy gearbox like this then uh, of course what else would you put it in but the best blaster the UMP45 I'm gonna pop it in there in order to have the best chance of breaking this gearbox I've got a, a M M150 spring that's gonna go into the back of it And of course, the Bruise Master stainless tight bore barrel, which I'm just going to glue into here very shortly. First test, I didn't have the camera running, but I did take some photos of the chrono readings afterwards, and then things started to go downhill from there. First, the metal tappet plate bent. And then, I'm not quite sure what that was, but it did sound like a gear stripping. Maybe a pinion or 
something stripped. Uh, so I'm going to have to strip it down and have a look what actually broke. Well, there's something, something, some part of some metal. It looks almost like a bearing housing. That could be what it is. It's from the other side. Yep, that's what's died. Bearing fail. I guess when you are doing something high powered like this, using ball bearings is probably not the smartest thing to do. Uh, I might swap this back for solid bushes if the gears are still okay. Just hope all the teeth are still intact. Okay, so everything except that bearing looks like it's pretty good. That's a non-bearing. No longer a bearing. <laughs> Was once, is no more. All right, I'm not going to give up on this. I'm going to swap out solid bushes and uh, then we'll get back on it. Okay, I'm giving this thing one more chance. Um, the gears that I had, the, the low ratio helical gears have stripped out. Um, uh, mostly there. Basically, right there on that spot is where they've all worn away. Uh, so, once you get to that spot, it just jams, stops. Some of the other teeth got a bit damaged, but that's that's the main one there. Anyway, so, expensive helicals, they're done, they're out. Um, I've replaced them with just a generic set of the cheap metal 18 to 1 gears that you get for pretty much everything <sighs> I don't think they're gonna last very long but we're gonna put it back in <laughs> and uh, give it another shot alright we are going straight to the chrono with this no test runs nothing because I don't know how long this is gonna last <laughs> alright here we go. Safety off. Okay, 421. 503. Um, 
I don't know what to think about this. Four twenty one. All right, guys, I'm just gonna chalk this up as a bad idea and then be done with it. Anyway, like this video because it's stupid and subscribe because I'm gonna do more stupid stuff and buy me a coffee so I can afford to buy more gel blasters. All right, guys, uh, I guess after all that shenanigans, um, I will just have to really go do something with this.